right, I'm back with another Destiny 2 video, and I wanted to touch on something I went over in the TWAB yesterday, which is sort of the main focus. Um, this was the changes to reputation that they were making, and fundamentally, I was kind of unimpressed with it, uh, based on what I hoped could change, at least, and all that really changed in the end... Oh, I never even realized there was an Ace Tribune here. The things you learn. Um, <laughs> okay, so pretty much what they came up with is there is a 30% uh, increase in Vanguard reputation, and they are giving you more reputation for higher level Nightfall Strikes, I think, because this was going too slowly for people. I never really noticed that, personally, um, but I guess that was kind of one of their takeaways. Uh, the other change that they made was uh, in Saints, who is over there somewhere. Um, they made it so, I think if you're like rocking like a 20 round one, seven win card, you can just get, I think at least 50% more experience if you're just kind of grinding out that same card as they're adjusting things to give you uh, more reputation at higher levels. That's a fine change, and yet that is kind of it. Uh, Crucible, they're leaving the same. They say that the Crucible reward system is kind of where they want it to be right now. They say that Gambit is going too slowly, uh, except that because there are changes coming to Gambit that we don't know about yet, um, they want to wait and see how those play out before they do anything with Gambit reputation. Um, my issue here is that I just wish there were more changes here. So while I do appreciate them getting rid of the token system, and this is certainly better than it used to be in terms of like there was really no point um, to, to these vendors at all other than just sort of bounty collecting and and uh, token spamming. I still think the, the current playlist system is pretty boring and dull and I'm hoping to see kind of more things like the Saint system where at least there's kind of more stuff integrated into that including the ability to focus for specific weapons using those engrams and it makes... Um, you know, getting trials engrams from ranking up reputation actually kind of valuable. Uh, the rewards also, I think, are just very lacking at this point. So in all, in both of these I'm showing here, I'm at rank, uh, or I'm at Prestige 2. So this is a little different than Prestige 1 where, or Prestige 0, where you have the, uh, the ritual weapon in there, and then in the second one you have the ritual weapon skin. They're not changing that, even though people were kind of annoyed by that. Uh, I don't really like how they're doing the ritual weapon now. It just feels like such an afterthought where it's, it's kind of like the least effort possible. Like I get that they maybe they don't have the bandwidth to do three separate ritual weapons every single season now, which they were doing for a time, um, you know, because each of those had like entirely unique perks and then that got them in trouble when those were too powerful with Recluse and Mountaintop and all that. And yet I do sort of miss the idea that we had to do something to get the ritual weapon where... These days, it's just grind any playlist up to, you know, one prestige to get the weapon and then grind any, you know, grind that specific playlist to get the ornament for it. It's not get like, you know, X kills of what type of weapon. It's not accomplishing any specific things within that activity. It's just pure grinding. And I find that uh, pretty boring. Past that, uh, nothing has really changed. Like this is still a token system without being a token system. Like, yes, you get stuff from sub ranks and things like this but you know this this is guaranteed to be not only under power but also low stats this is just you know any armor you get from this is almost guaranteed to be trash uh, and then the weapons you get from it are just going to be whirlpool weapons so it's just essentially like a worse version of banshee and you're only doing this to get you know one copy of each of these maybe for transmog if this was even a good transmog set which it isn't <laughs> And then occasionally you will get the kind of weapons that you're getting from the world drops and Banshee anyway. And I just don't see a point to that. And I, I kind of wish we could go back to a system where these had their own dedicated uh, weapons attached to them. And you could, similar to the Trials version, like get uh, you know an, a Vanguard engram and then focus it for a specific drop you're looking for. Uh, maybe that requires unvolting a lot more weapons than we currently have in the pool. And they kind of wanted to do this shared pool thing, but... To me, that seems like a, a kind of obvious um, upgrade that this could have. In addition to that, uh, a few things in regard to the playlist weapons. I was disappointed one of the changes to reputation and streaks was not increasing the drop rates on playlist weapons uh, the longer your streak is. I feel like 
if you are capped out at like a five game, five strike streak or whatever, you should be kind of getting the highest possible chance to get drops of those weapons. I do not believe that system is in place. I, I could be wrong, but I am like 95% sure that that does not exist right now. Um, that has been a pretty common suggestion, but we've seen no movement there. I also think you could do something where this is just so boring. It's just like a couple upgrade materials, like two enhancement prisms for like these full ranks. Like you can, <laughs> you can run a, a medium level, you know, nightfall in five minutes and get more than that. Like, it's just, it's nothing. And like uh, one exotic for a full prestige, again, seems like very, very little. Uh, and that I think that should be a shard for sure. Um, I know it is on the first one, but I think it should continue to be a shard. I would like stuff integrated in here that's like you at least get, you know, some dedicated drops of the playlist weapons, maybe whatever one is live for that season. Maybe you get, you know, for the Gambit one, a curated servant leader or, or whatever that special um, weapon is for that has been added for the playlist there. Um, and I, I think more stuff like that that is not just base materials would be good. Um, again, I get that the first kind of run through this has a little more stuff in it, but the, the subsequent ones are are very lacking. This is better than nothing, I suppose, and yet fundamentally kind of the system has not changed very much and this is not really a compelling pursuit. I guess maybe they don't want to make it too rewarding because it's such like a base level easy activity, what well, these strikes are, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it's not really cutting it for me. And I think the changes they're making, just simply making it go faster for a couple of these are not going to ultimately cut it. And when I heard reputation changes, I just sort of expected some more substantive changes. I think this is certainly a, a step in the right direction. And now we're going to see something similar with Banshee, the gunsmith, where he is essentially going to, you know, instead of turning in massive gunsmith materials, which might as well be tokens, uh, he's going to have some sort of reputation system that I assume he, he's losing all this stuff. This is going to Rahul. I assume there will be some sort of, you know, go through the motions of, uh, you know, unlocking stuff for him. Uh, I assume they're not giving him a ritual weapon or something. It would be cool if there was like some sort of unique, you know, roll of a gun or, or something in that level up space that you could get from him. Uh, similar to what I was just talking about with the other ones, because, because this is not a playlist activity, this is kind of an entirely separate vendor. I may be hoping for something a little more new here other than just, you know, your usual upgrade materials. I, I, I think there are possibilities to do more interesting things than that, and they're not quite uh, ready for that. I guess I can't really judge the Banshee one yet because we don't know what the, the full kind of extent of what the new rank system might offer through him, but I am just hoping that it is going to be a little more substantive than what we've seen from the other ones. And I'm, I'm disappointed that the only changes for the other ones are just sort of increasing the, the speed of things, and that's sort of it. Uh, I will be wondering, I'm wondering if the Gambit changes are going to change his reputation rank ups in some way. Uh, my, <laughs> my ultimate, you know, theory that I would love to see happen here would be an idea that, okay, maybe they're going to put in the Gambit Prime armor bonuses as mods. And maybe as you rank up through Gambit next season, you will unlock those mods. Um, as part of, you know, grinding out Gambit to a certain extent. I think that would be very cool. I am not remotely banking on that because I think those are those expectations might be a little high. And yet that's something I could see as like an interesting reward for him, uh, at least next season, as opposed to, again, like it's just, it's the same thing everywhere, the same, you know, oh, now we have green versions of this terrible armor and it's just, I don't love it. Uh, that's actually an okay roll, but I have a million of these. <laughs> so it's just... We'll see what happens. I, I think we need to know more about the Gambit thing and about Banshees, but, um, you know, for a twad that was supposed to be very focused on reputation, the changes they announced, like, oh, better streaks, like, better, you know, faster upgrades. I don't really think that's kind of the core problem with reputation at the moment, and I think there are changes they can make to ritual weapons, to playlist armor and weapons, to, um, you know, different offerings they can have within the upgrade system that they are really not pursuing in any meaningful way. And while the system is better than the way it used to be, I do not think that it is anywhere near done. Uh, and the, the best thing we've seen so far is, is the trial system, and like even that could be improved. But uh, I'm, I'm also curious to see what they do with the Iron Banner system, but that's not going to be for a full season. So anyway, I, I hope they keep working on the reputation system uh, above and beyond kind of what they just announced this past swab, because I, I think there's just there's too much 
more they can do with it that they're just kind of sitting on right now and i hope they they kind of realize that so anyway uh thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later take care